So, one more time to try and clarify on, on metaphorical truths. When we are talking about metaphorical truths, those are usually the most important part. If you're talking about literature and if you're talking about religion, metaphorical truths are really the, the bread and butter of the whole thing. They're the beating heart. They're the whole reason why you are reading the text. And they're the whole reason why you are grappling with the text. Usually it's 99% it's of why you consider the text important versus not important. Why it's taught in a literature class. For example, with Dostoevsky, the metaphorical truths, the stuff that he is really wrestling with in the book Crime and Punishment are the philosophical musings on the nature of crime and punishment, on the metaphorical truths content of that. That's why you read the book. That's why the book is held in high esteem. That's why the book is considered a classic of literature, not for the mechanics of where Raskolnikov was or was not on any given day in the story. That's not really usually important. It's a lot more obvious with Shakespeare. Why is that? Because Shakespeare has, has standard plot devices that were common to the plays of the time, famously so. So the plots are irrelevant. We don't read Hamlet because of the the literal mechanics of the piece. We read Hamlet because of what is being said in both the language and the metaphorical truths of the content. That's why we analyze it. That's why we study it. That's why we consider it valuable and important. The metaphorical truth is the actual point. It's the actual value of the item. Now, with the Bible, it's the spiritual truths, which are the metaphorical truths. Let's, uh, let me, let me, illustrate the point one more time with, for example, the movie Airplane. Did you ever hear the movie Airplane? If you haven't seen it, it's it's a classic comedy. You go look up the top 10 comedies of all time, it's usually on number eight or something. It's hilarious. Um, and it was somewhat revolutionary when it came out because the whole point of the movie are the stupid jokes. And there's one stupid, silly joke after another. There's no real plot. There's a plot, sort of, but nobody is watching the movie or caring about the movie because of the plot. The plot's incent it's irrelevant. It's immaterial. It's something they just threw together to put the stupid jokes in. Somewhat akin to Shakespeare. The plots are inc incidental. Something he is just, just a literary device to hang his actual ideas on. And it's the philosophical musings that are the actual content. It's why we read the play. It's why we study the play. Let's go to the Bible. Same principle. Same principle. What are the authors trying to convey about the spiritual truths? That's what they're trying to show you. The spiritual truths are what are actually important. The the mechanics of whether it's literally true or not are not usually all that's important. Let's, let's take uh, let's take Jesus washing of the feet. Whether you think that was God Himself writing the Bible or the authors, they were trying to show you something with the washing of the feet. You, the reader, are supposed to take something away from that. And I believe it was literally true. Oh, so help me, Jesus. I believe that that was 100% true and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. Praise you in the house of the Lord, Jesus. Okay, fine. But that's not what the story is intending to convey. It's intending to convey the, the point of the story is the value of humility. It's supposed to underscore the value of humility. That's the takeaway. That's the important point. Not whether it literally happened. Was there literally a part where Jesus bent down and washed his disciples' feet? I don't know. Maybe. But that's not the takeaway. The takeaway is the value of humility. And it's underscoring the value of hum humility. Is it possible they embellish the story? Yeah, possibly. To do what? To underscore the value of humility. To underscore the value of humility. You, the reader, are supposed to understand the principle of humility and that's what you are to try to embody aha jesus is humble therefore i should be humble jesus is humble therefore i should try to become more humble that's the whole point whether it literally happened or not well it literally happened ah, hallelujah i so believe it literally happened 100 that's fine but did you actually try to embody the principle see oftentimes bible literalists will miss this not all of them some of them but some of them do it's not as important whether that literally happened as it says it happened word for word. 
what is li what is literally important in that text is are you trying to embody the principle of humility are you reading that and going aha that is how i am to act in the world because that's what the religion is based on that's what the actual content of the religion is acting as jesus act i am a christian paul said imitate me as i imitate christ that's the actual command in the bible so you're supposed to look at Jesus bending down to wash his disciples' feet and go, aha, I am to embody that. That's the metaphorical truth. That's the actual valuable content. That's also the spiritual truth. That's the part that really should be analyzed by the scientists. And that is the part that will stand because the scientists are already starting to discover the value of humility versus arrogance. As a practical matter, as a wise approach to living your life. But that's the really important part of the Bible. That's the point. That's the point. The metaphorical truths are usually the whole reason you are engaging with the text. Really, honest to God. That's why when, when Sam Harris was talking with Jordan Peterson, he was talking about, you know, more or less saying that... that um, Jordan Peterson's charitable reading of Christianity could be applied to astrology, and I said, no, it cannot. There is no such thing as metaphorical wisdom truths in astrology. Really, honestly, there aren't. There's nothing, you don't, you, you, it says, you're a Leo, so you're going to act like this and that. Not, you're a Leo, so you should do X. The Bible is full of, you should do X. You should do X. That's the thing that you should be de deciding on the real real content that's the real content you should act like x you should be like jesus in the world you should be more merciful more compassionate and more humble that's the real point the metaphorical truths that's all for now yeah i got more to say on the subject i'll say more about it amen that's enough for now amen